Hello everyone, this is Zach Taylor and Maddie Kilopalainen, and we're going to be sharing with you the Journal of Accountancy article titled Dashboard Your Scorecard by Mark Lehman, issued February 2011. And the key functions that we'll be using are the get pivot data and the index functions of 2007. Okay, this is the finished product that we're looking at uh, for the dashboard, and it just helps you look at a lot of different uh, data on the same page um, and comparing different sales trends with uh, different salespeople and whatever data you're going to grab from your pivot table. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Journal of Accountancy, um, dashboard your scorecard. You can find it in Google, and when you open up this uh, particular uh, article, you'll scroll down and it'll say, click here to download this file. This is the sample file that you need, so you'll hit save and just save it onto the desktop and I'm going to label it uh, 2. I already have another one. So, uh, or actually I'll just rename this Journal of Accountancy 2 and we'll save it onto the desktop. Then we'll open up the file. And uh, Okay, what you want to do is you want to turn this uh, data uh, tab into the whole thing. You're going to turn it into a table. So hit Control A to select the whole thing. And uh, let me pull the screen down a little bit here. You're going to go to Home and uh, you're going to hit Format as Table. So I'll just pick this green one because I like it. This is the information that you want. You'll hit OK. Then the next thing you're going to do once this whole thing is a table is you're going to go back to Insert and you're going to select Pivot Table. You're going to create a pivot table. You want it to go onto a new worksheet. So we'll do that. We'll hit OK. And the information that we are going to want to bring down is we're going to take Style and we're going to put that down into the column labels. And then we're going to take representative. And we're going to put that into the row labels. And then we're going to do category. And we're going to put that also into the row labels. And um, quantity. Where is quantity? There, there it is. And we're going to put it into the values box. So you can see all this table building up. Um, and we're going to rename this. Uh, sheet down here. We're going to rename it uh, Pivot 1. And this is kind of essential as you're, I, at first I was thinking this might not be that important, but you do need to name this so you can see what you're working with and we'll hit enter. Okay, just switched over here to the preparation worksheet and we're going to put our cursor in B4, which it already is, and we're going to put the equal sign and we're going to make a formula. I'm going to go back over to the Pivot 1 uh, worksheet and I'm going to click on cell H5. So over here, cell H5 equals 942 and Excel creates this uh, pivot function. I'm going to hit enter to complete the function and then I'm going to need to do something to uh, make it so you can copy. I'm going to uh, cut out this Alan Pearson and you need to make sure that you include the parentheses and I'm going to replace it with, uh, or uh, quotation marks, not parentheses, sorry about that. And I'm going to replace it with A4, which is right next to it. And uh, after I do this, I'm going to uh, hit enter. And uh, I should be able to copy this formula down now. So let's see if it did that. Yep, we are. I'm going to highlight these cells, which they're already done, and I'm going to go, let me pull this down so you can see it. I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm, I'm going to Insert. Okay, so I'm going to select all of this data from uh, A4 to B8, and I'm going to insert a pie chart. So that's pretty easy um, right here. And then what I want to do is I want to cut this. So I'll hit Control x and I'm going to paste this onto a different page. So they're all actively linked together in the same workbook. And uh, I had one here from a previous one, but that's what we're looking for. And then you uh, 
just resize it so that it fits in there perfectly and there okay I'm gonna go to uh, the preparation tab again here and I am going to go on to B12 right here Alan Pearson and I'm gonna hit equals to make a, a formula come up and uh, what then I'm gonna go to the pivot table um, information and I'm going to click on H6 in here which is 326 it's uh, the commercial and I'm going to um, hit enter to complete the the data and then just like the other one we're going to need to edit this a little bit so let me pull this into the screen so you can see it I'm going to replace Alan Pearson again with the per, with the uh, quotation marks, and I'm going to replace it. Uh, I got the comma in there, and you don't want the comma; you just want the quotation marks. So bear with me; that looks a little difficult. There we go. Okay, I'm going to replace that with a twelve, which is right here and uh, what I want to do is you want to actually put a dollar sign right in front I believe of the A that's exactly what you need it to look like and uh, that's important so that it copies down I'm also going to replace commercial and same thing let me move this over I'm going to replace commercial including the quotations with uh, cell B11 which, so there's B and this is 11. And again, with that one, you're going to want to put a dollar sign right uh, after the B in this case. And uh, that makes, that's uh, pretty essential. And I'm going to hit enter um, to complete the formula. Then I'm going to copy this formula all the way across. Let's see if I, let me, uh, if I can get the cursor here to do it. Okay, there it went all the way across, and double-click it to go down. Okay, we're going to want to make a, a bar chart here, so I'm going to start at A11 and go all the way over to D16, and I'm going to go up to uh, Insert, and I'm going to hit uh, Bar Chart. I'm going to pick this two-dimensional one. I happen to like it, and we're going to do the exact same thing we've done before. I'm going to hit Control-X. And uh, let me move this up here. I'm going to put it over to dashboard. And I'm going to put this one actually in the lower left-hand corner. And I'm going to hit control V to paste it. And I'll just move, I'll scoot it up so that it fits right in there. So here we've got all this data on the same uh, page. Okay, now we're going to go back to the preparation worksheet. And we're going to go up to B23. So right here, in B23, we're going to begin another pivot table function. So we're going to hit equals, and then we will go over to pivot one, and we will find cell B9272. So like that, and then we'll hit enter, and we'll go back up, and we will edit. We will edit this function just like we did on the others. We're going to take Janet Sellers and replace her with B20. We're going to make that a fixed reference, so we hit F4. And then we're going to take New England, and we're going to replace New England with A23. We're going to come over here to A23. And then we'll hit Enter. We'll come over. And we will copy this function down. And the worksheet should appear as we want it to. Okay, perfect. So it copied the function down. Now we'll go to the next step. 
Okay, now the next step, it requires using the developer tab. So just like we've done in um, past wikis, you go up there to the Excel, Excel button, you click on show developer tab. Then once we are within the developer tab, we want to go to insert. And we go to this button right here called combo box. Click on that. We want to come over adjacent to cells D23. And we will just put in, just click and drag and make a combo box. Then you right click on the combo box. And you come down to format control. And then on the input range, you click select. Highlight cells D24 to D28. So I go like this. And I just hit enter. And then you do the same thing for cell link. And you select B19. So you just select this cell. But we also type in preparation before both of these with an exclamation point and this directs the function in knowing where to uh, get the data from and then after after typing preparation into both of these cells you click OK that should be good OK real quick after we put in this combo box you can come over here and experiment real quick. Um, click off to deselect it, then click, um, say, Janet Sellers, and the position of that she appears in the list should appear up here. So the next part, what we want to do in order to get the final piece of the puzzle, is you come up here and you type the function equals index parentheses, and we highlight D24 to D28, this list of representatives over here comma and we also select B19 because we want it to reference back to this hit enter and then now we go alright next what we're going to do is we're going to enter a column chart so we select B23 or A23 to B28 we'll go up to insert column chart we'll just click on any any chart that you want and basically we're going to do the same things we did in the others we're going to cut this and we're going to paste it into our dashboard. And we're going to paste it on the lower right hand corner of our dashboard. Just like that. We'll drag this over. See it. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go back to our preparation chart. And we're going to we're actually going to right click. We're going to right click our combo box. We're going to cut it and we're going to paste it into our dashboard so you can pick uh, pretty much any cell to paste that into and paste okay the next step is to come up here to uh, cell I5 hit equals and then we're going to head back over to our pivot and we're going to hit equals H5 and then with that we're going to come up and we're going to edit the Allen Pearson box and we want that to equal G5, not quite a G6. And then we're going to hit enter. And that should copy it down. Okay, the next step is we want to pretty this up a little bit by adding some conditional formatting. So we highlighted these cells. We're going to. Okay, and just so you know, when I was copying that other formula over here, I just there was a comma error, and I changed that, and it was able to copy down just fine. Next, we're going to add the conditional formatting. So we highlight these cells. We come up to conditional formatting. We go over to icon sets, and we add these arrows, and it will display what has happened according to the different cells. Okay, and that wraps up our dashboard, your scorecard. Um, over here in the Excel 2010, there's actually a function that you can add some spark lines, but we are going to just be working with Excel 2007. Um, this is dashboard, your scorecard. It was a rather extensive video uh, because there was, a, there was a lot of functions and a lot of different movements to show 
in preparing this worksheet. Thank you.